Hi there guys, my name's Allison and I'm from Beards Bountiful Bunnies. And today I would like to give you guys some tips and tricks to clipping your rabbit's nails. This is a chore that I hate doing, but as I have over 40 adult rabbits that I have to do, I've learned how to do it pretty quickly by myself and sometimes my husband's able to help me, but it's normally a lonely chore. Um, so I just want to teach you guys some tricks on how to get it done. Before I go any further, I would really like to ask you guys to please like this video and hit the subscribe button to be able to see all my future videos. It costs you guys nothing, but it helps me out a lot. So like I said, I want to teach you guys how to get nails done whenever you need to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> uh, I use cat nail clippers. It's the best thing that I found to get done. Um, they have these at Dollar Tree. I buy them at Dollar Tree, so one buck. They're the best ones that i found to get the job done. Obviously, if you can't get to a Dollar Tree, just find some type of a, a cat nail clipper. Um, you can use human nail clippers, but they're just annoying. I don't like using them. These have just been the easiest thing for me to, to get the job done. Um, another thing you could use is uh, these thick Kevlar work gloves that go up to the middle of your upper arm. My, um, my husband got these for me. I don't really use them much because they're just so big on me, but they do help protect his arms whenever he helps me do this chore. He's able to use these and keep the rabbits from scratching his arms up while I clip. Um, so that's another trick. They do also make just Kevlar sleeves, which let your fingers stick out and it just protects your arm. That way while you're holding, you still have use to your fingers and it protects your arm. They're normally yellow. I'll, I'll find them and I'll put a link down in the description about the Kevlar sleeves. And then another thing you can use is an old blanket or a towel. Um, and we can, I'll show you how to do it, just wrapping the rabbit up and doing one paw at a time. But whenever I'm doing them by myself, I actually don't even use any of those things. I've learned to just grab them. So I always have a chair. And uh, I brought in two of my Magpie Rex. These are, are about three and a half months old. They have never had their nails clipped. This will be their first time, so we'll see how they do. Um, and if I have to use some of my tricks, I will. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, so what I always do is I'll grab a rabbit. Okay. This is a pretty little Rex buck I have. His name is Pongo. He's going to be a, a breeder for me. But um, I always grab the rabbit. And the best way I found is to get a chair, like I said. And I'll sit down. Oh, calm down. And I always put the rabbits back against my chest. And I'll hold them like this. Just as gently as I can. I'll set their, their bottom on my legs. It's raining, so I've ran in my pants. Sorry. Um, whew, excuse you. And I'll always sit with them like this. And I grab my clippers. And I normally start on their back paws. Ugh. And I'll get my clippers. Now, he has a little bit darker claws, so you obviously have to make sure you don't go too high up. Because if you do quick them, you can use um, baby powder or cornstarch and just use it as like a quick stop if it does bleed. Um, so I'm going to just start at the tip. His, I can actually see the quick still, even though they're light. But I'm just going to go through slowly. And one at a time. You're doing good. Good boy. You've never had your nails done. But I'm just going to trim off the, the really sharp tips. Say, so, uh, dark nails, you just you just have to be a little bit careful. When, they're, when they have, like, clear or white nails, it's much easier to see the quick. And I try to cut them up as high as I can. That way they don't grow back as quickly. Um, but I, I'll just go through. And I'll trim them all. See if he's going to let me do his front paws. Normally the one I have the hardest time getting is their, their dew claws on the side. For some reason, they just don't like me doing those. You're actually doing pretty chill. Good job. And one more paw. Simple as that. Oh, did I get you? No, oh, you're okay. All right. So he's done. That was simple. He's never had it done. Good job. Oh, it's my thumb that's bleeding. That's good. <laughs> So he's done, so let me grab my, this is a little girl magpie that I have. Again, she's never had her nails done either. But whenever I do have to use a blanket or a towel, I'll just lay it out. And I'll set, set them on there and I'll wrap three paws up. If they're like really fighting me, wrap up three paws. And if you, you want, you can also cover their head. That way they can't see what it is that you're doing. And I'll just pull out one paw at a time. And do it this way. Good girl. See? So I'm done with that paw. 
So I'll tuck that paw back in, wrap those other ones back up, because normally when they're they're mad, they'll kick at you with their back legs, and I, I have scars on my arms from trying to clip nails. Um, I'll pull up my arms, and then just clicking me with their back, back legs, or trying to bite me. They bit me too. And that's when I wrap their head very gently, not to hurt them, just to cover their eyes so they can't see you or bite through it. Yep, and then you just keep going. And then this, this one, you'd wrap their, oh, see, she kicks those back legs. And then I get out that back paw and you do the back paw. But this is just the easiest way I found by myself to get, get it done. Like I said, I do about every six weeks or so or when I notice they're really long. My, um, my Rex claws seem to grow the fastest out of all of my breeds. My Rex, I have to cut their nails way more than any of my other breeds. Um, but normally I don't start clipping their nails till they're about three or four months old. Up until that point, their nails just aren't grown out enough to warrant having to use, waste the time to do it. And by then they're normally sold to pet homes or to other breeders. So I, I don't normally mess with that as much. Um, <clears throat> that it's as simple as that. It's just the easiest way. Like I said, now sometimes my husband will help me. He likes wearing the big black gloves to protect his arms. He'll, he'll grab them and hold them and I'll go through and I'll clip their nails really, really quick. Um, and that actually is it's a lot faster when you have help. So if you can get a buddy to help you, it definitely goes faster. But by myself, sitting down, back against your chest like this, and, and getting them hold, held into place and just using one hand, just go through and get them all clipped and get the job done. If you have any questions or, or comments, please leave them down in the comments. Also, there's my Facebook page, Beards Bountiful Bunnies. And you're welcome to get on there and, uh, and ask me any questions on there that you guys might have. And I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.